Hi everyone and welcome to Cotswold Mini. My name is Josh. And I'm Tom. And we are here to introduce you to the 2021 Mini Model Update. Now it's always a very exciting day here in the showroom to have a brand new mini model and today we've got three. So we've got an exclusive three door hatch, we've got a five door hatch in the classic variant and then we've got a John Cooper Works as well to show you in a range of options as well to highlight that customisation you know and love with the mini brand. So Josh, should we take a look at some of the changes because this really is a great update. Absolutely, so what we'll do is we'll start with the front of the Mini. You'll notice a completely redesigned front bumper. It now colour coordinates. This car is finished in enigmatic black, which you'll notice running along the front of the bumper there. This car also has the optional extra exterior piano black pack, which you'll see running round and round the light, light surrounds there. So Josh, does the badge, is that finished in piano black as well? Yes, the badge is also matching. So you said about the front bumper. It looks to me like we've got a bigger grille here. Yes, we do. We do have a wider stance on the front of the grille, uh, which you'll notice, again, just gives it a little bit more depth. Absolutely. And a redesigned headlight cluster as well. We've got that classic mini kind of ring for the daytime running lights, but the cluster inside, that's changed, hasn't it? Yeah, so you do have a more squared off design, like you said, with the full LED daytime running light as well. Looks much more modern. I love it. So let's take a look at some of the features that we get on the side of this exclusive. So we have Mini Yours badging on the B pillar. That's directly mirrored with a leather Mini Yours badge on the shoulder of the seat inside as well. So one of the standout features on the exclusive is the wheels, and we do have a choice of wheels. These in particular, these are the 18-inch pulse spoke alloy wheels. Now these are brand new for this model, finished in a bicolor with a diamond cut finish. They look absolutely fantastic. Right, Josh, I'm loving this exclusive so far. So run me through some of the changes as we come to the back. Yeah, absolutely. So following on from the piano black exterior pack, you'll see also the mini wings here are finished in black along with the Cooper badging. And then down below, uh, new to this, is the black exhaust tip. So following on from that as well, new for the exclusive and the sport models is the rear parking sensors, now standard. Great little yeah, feature. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, part of the exclusive pack uh, really does make a difference. Okay, so we are now with the Mini 5-door hatch. Uh, this particular model is a classic. Uh, Tom, tell me a little about this colour. I'm really glad you pulled me up on the colour here. So this is one of my favourite colours in the range. This is Island Blue, previously only available on the Countryman. It's now dropped down to the wider model range. I think it looks absolutely brilliant. Absolutely. And also where we spoke about the newly designed front grille, there's another thing this colour ties into it. So before we would have just a black split through yeah. the front bumper and grille. We now have that as body colour. Breaks up that new grille design, looks absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it really does. It, it ties through great uh, on that front end. And again, because this is a classic, you also have the chrome headlight surrounds followed again on the rear tail lights as well. So what I like about that, where we've got that chrome and then the gloss black inside, it almost mimics that mini badge. So we've got chrome, black, again, looks great. I love those little tines. So then, what has changed at the side? Well, we've got an entirely new redesigned side scuttle that then incorporates this lovely flashing indicator we have there. Being a classic model, we have a choice of alloy wheels ranging from 15 to 17 inch. These particular ones, these are the 16 inch upgraded victory spoke alloy wheels finished in gloss black. Around to the rear of the Mini then, we have the newly designed rear bumper. Again, much like the front, we have the island blue color coded on the back. It adds a lot more depth to the rear of the vehicle and accentuates the new redesign on the sides as well. Josh, shall we take a look at some of the changes? There's some big ones up front, definitely. Yes, absolutely. So the first thing I want to talk about is the new headlight cluster. We have gone for more a square, modernised design, obviously uh, with those daytime running lights as well. Now the grille seems to have got much bigger compared to the previous one. Yes, absolutely. So we do have a larger, wider grille, giving it a very aggressive stance and also the honeycomb design as well. And we have now moved and got rid of the front fog lights. So they've moved from their location where they were previously and we've now got these openings just adding to the sportiness of the bumper. Yes, absolutely. That rear bumper down the bottom you can see does have wider uh, intakes there just again to add to the silent look. Looks great. 
So the front end looks great, but there are also some other subtle changes around the car to bring this into the new era of Mini. So a new feature is we have the piano black exterior trim is now standard on John Cooper Works and Sport models. This particular vehicle is a John Cooper Works, so we do have some additional red bits, but we get black door handles, we've got a black fuel filler cap, the blade on the front of the car is black as well, unless it's a John Cooper Works, then it's red, and also is the side scuttle, so that's this top section here. Red on John Cooper Works, black on other models. The exhaust tips are also black apart from on the JCW, they retain their silver tips. Right then Josh, we've got some great changes on the outside, big changes on the inside as well. Mainly, the thing catching my eye is this steering wheel. Yes, a completely redesigned steering wheel. Uh, I am sat in a John Cooper Works at the moment, so you will notice the emblem mm -hmm. at the bottom. Uh, one of the biggest changes to this steering wheel is the flush fit piano black steering wheel controls. So I can see looking through the steering wheel as well, is that a digital dash we've now got in this car? Yes, and it is available now across the range. Uh, it ties in nicely with the new infotainment system. So that screen looks bigger than the last one, and also is that a new infotainment system we got? Yes, it is a 8.8 inch display, again, standard across the mini range. Uh, now is customizable with these widgets. So something I always loved about minis as well is that lighting surrounding the screen looks really cool. We've got a new design, haven't we? So rather than having a continuous light, we've got this lovely notch pattern, changing colour as you can see here, and that then runs through the doors. Yeah, modernised a little bit. Uh, you'll notice what goes uh, around the display screen, uh, I think just giving it a bit more refreshed design. Also inside then, we've got this piano black interior trim, standard across the, uh, the whole range now, looks really great. And to give a new little twist to the interior, we've got newly designed air vents, so they've gone to this almost oblong rectangular shape. Right then Josh, so the front looks great, but I can see we've also got a refreshed rear end as well. We've kept those Union Jack lights, which I absolutely love, but what else has changed? Yes, the Union Jack rear lights have remained. Uh, new to this is the John Cooper Works model and the Sport model, the new pronounced rear diffuser, and also the smallest fog light in production. So is that diffuser actually active? Does it help with aerodynamics? Yes, it does, and also visually I think it looks amazing as yeah, well. Yeah, it's much more squared off, isn't it? Looks great. So that's an overview of our exciting new Mini models. From myself and Josh, thank you very much for watching and we look forward to speaking to you as soon as you come into our showrooms on the 12th of April. Absolutely, we really are excited to have you back. In the meantime, take care and stay safe.